More bad news for the World Economic Forum this year at Davos as the commercial section at the exhibition center that they have is failing to gain enough attraction. Now, considering that the biggest aspects of the World Economic Forum as a think tank and a lobby group is commercialism and corporatism, they're, they're not really doing too well. So the bad news for them is that on the one hand, over the last couple of years, and especially this year, they are definitely in the spotlight. So everyone's talking about them, even the mainstream media, new media, ordinary people. At the same time, <laughs> the attendance has gone down a lot of world leaders presidents and prime ministers decided not to go because it's a bad look to use your private jet to go and eat caviar and drink champagne in the middle of a cost of living crisis and this is why the manchester united as a football club decided to go because they're owned by the, the glazer family and the glazer family are very much involved with wef and they have their own stall they have their own section so they have shops everywhere anyway but this this next photo is from <laughs> inside wf they this the whole lounge is basically empty every day uh, the reports that we received is that they're not really gaining in any attraction then they up to a point where united had to relate to a, uh, do a press release to respond to these uh, <laughs> rumors about uh, not gaining enough uh, uh, clients or you know attraction they said the aim isn't to attract clients it is to maintain presence um what that that's the whole point of marketing we get that but <laughs> considering your owners are the biggest uh, backers of wf they're gonna go out there to lobby anyway i'm not really sure why you spend so much money on building that lounge when no one's using it so what, what's the point but they've been um uh, obviously, they're throwing all these uh, drink receptions and uh, events uh, at uh, Davos. As you had Peter Schmeichel, the former keeper, and Richard Arnold, who's the boss of the club. Uh, on Tuesday, a couple of days ago, they hosted a nightcap for the guests with canapes. They even uh, <laughs> they even served Red Devil cocktail. Obviously, Red Devil is Manchester United's uh, that's a symbolism. But the, the irony, <laughs> you're literally helping the meme and the, the, the meme industry of the internet with a uh, serving red devil cocktail at davos you know what people are going to do with that meme right anyway oh my god and so avram glazer who's also the a, a co-chairman of the club and one of the um the owners of the club is a davos regular and they, they've been doing their own lobbying because the name of the club is manchester united they thought they're clever they kept, they've come up with slogans like a world united or engage unite empower oh my god how much do these people pay their pr agents and the communications team because it's just very very cringy they are doing their job they are lobbying they are they they are maintaining presence so i'm proud of you guys um, and and i feel very sad because as a manchester united fan myself i have to criticize my club because this is absolute idiocy we just want the glazer family to leave the club Get out. Go back to America. Nobody wants you here. But <laughs> apparently we can't say that these days. It's very insensitive. Yeah, yeah. Poor Americans. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to come back in half an hour with more updates for you guys. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.